Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Well, I just realized I put the star crystal out. The first tarot that was drawn was the star, which is why this is going to be your reading because I wasn't sure who I was going to read for. Um, so I just drew a tarot and the star came out. So I'm so glad Aquarius, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're going to draw from the tarot deck. Um, we've got the passion deck here as well which is our you know 18 or 21 plus we've got the love potion deck and this beautiful deck what is this called again i think it's it's not energy i think it's sacred oracle so aquarius i'm hearing like um it seems to be like there is somebody that is upset and that this reading may help in some way judgment yeah there's going to be a judgment call that's actually in your favor i think you've been worrying about this i'm actually hearing tears um, you sort of like, it's like it's worrying you in your heart even, but it just, you know, it's like hurting your heart thinking about something and I'm hearing tears. So, sweethearts, this reading is to let you know that this judgment, it is going to be in your favor, that the universe is working to help you, that it's okay to relax and snuggle because things are actually going to work out in your favor, sweethearts. I'm saying snuggle because I'm seeing like, I'm seeing literally seeing like blankets like somebody is snuggled in. Look at this as the Empress. Aquarius, it's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Empress energy is so high right now with this Aquarius full moon. You know, you as the star and the Empress. This is a time of creating Aquarius the new. And it's also a time of healing your energy and your spiritual gifts. You're going to be receiving and divine downloads, spiritual gifts are going to be heightened. I feel like this is something that's always been within you and it's like something that you've had to maybe shy away from because maybe um, others didn't see, that, you know, understand or, you know, I think it's the same thing, you know, when we're kids and we're told to, you know, okay, you got to grow up now, right? But there's something that's really beautiful about you, Aquarius, that's actually very healing, that's going to be gifting all. You're regaining these gifts and as the Empress, you're going to be creating in all areas of your life. You're also very protected at this stage um, by a shining star. So your aura is literally like this figure here being protected and you're going to be really in tune with nature. Um, there's a symbiosis to everything, but the Empress um, is like this sort of cocoon of creation. It's allowing you to really dream in. You know, we see the figure here of the mind, but it's also mind, body, and soul. It's it, it's everything. Um, it's really fertile ground for you to just create and to dream. And this energy is going to be happening over the next four weeks, Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Everything's going to be okay, sweethearts. Whoever needed to hear this reading, I'm so glad that I that I heard the call um, to do your reading because it's, it's right here. You know, Spirit just wanted to tell you that everything's going to be okay here with the Sun card. This is light restored. This is a card of happiness, of hope, joy. Like It's the happiest card in the deck. And you can see there the two wolves. This is love and union. It's everything that's aligned to the light. Everything that gives you a feeling of happiness. This is also a sense of fearlessness because the sun, it clears any shadows. So bless you. That is so gorgeous. Can you, I can't believe who I'm talking to here. This is unbelievable. Like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I feel like my voice sounds really strange now, but this is literally how I feel. Like, the Empress, the Star, the Sun, and Judgment here. The Sun crowning your reading. Wow. I mean, this is like the blueprint of who you are, Aquarius. You're remembering, but Spirit's going to be guiding you in the right direction. Tenfold. Knight of Pentacles. This can be an offer coming in, a new opportunity. For some of you, that is work. Um, because they see you as really patient and really loyal. And you've got the Hermit card. This is trusting in your own light. Look at that, as the star. Trust in your own light. Aquarius, we're going to get into the love reading soon, but I hope that you can see just how beautiful you are, how powerful you are. You're grounding dreams here, but this infinite possibility, you are multidimensional and you have grounded this 
higher cosmic wisdom, knowledge and light. You've followed the light and it has brought such healing, but it's going to be bringing healing to all of those around you as well. I want to get one more. Page of Wands. Look at this. The sky being lit up with divine inspiration. It's like you are fearless, Aquarius. You are walking in the strength of you. Lit up as you. You know that you can walk here, but you know that you have these stars guiding the way. This is fireworks. This is a moment of inspiration. Of, you know, it's going to feel like magic where you just go, wow. You know, you did this. This is so powerful, guys. Oh my goodness. Bless. I'm going to put that there so we can still see this star. Wow. Okay, let's, let's um, ground this gorgeous energy of who you are. And then we'll get into the passion deck. Wow, top of the deck, the magician. The magician. Look at you. It's like you are creating your dreams. This, the, your power of manifestation here is so balanced in light and so in alignment with spirit. And your, you know, spirit is you. It's in alignment with your higher self, your God, your universe. Oh my gosh, wow. This deck, guys, here, there was a little bit of a, um, an incident with water. And so I had to um, put them out in the sun. But as you can see, <laughs> it's sort of like having a tower moment over here. <laughs> but you are not. You are shining. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Aquarius. Let's ground this gorgeous energy for Aquarius. Wow. Gratitude. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Um, who got this? Taurus as well. Gratitude, honor the sacred in every creation. It's like you're able, you always are able to see the bigger picture and, you know, send forgiveness and unconditional love and continue to create. You have gratitude for every moment as for where you've come from and, and where you are and all your hopes and dreams. It says Gaia needs you, Aquarius. Act from your crown and heart. And that's you, you know, really envisioning these cosmic wisdoms and channeling through your heart, bringing heaven to earth, I'm hearing. Wow. This is so glorious. Oh my goodness. Breathe into who you are, Aquarius, because you are divine. Let's see what's going on in love for Aquarius. I feel like you're just so, it's like your energy is so beautiful that you just, you feel your, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, your energy is such a gift, you know? Um, but let's see, let's see what the cards have to say. The seven of wands. Oh, okay. <laughs> they all fell out. Top of the deck is the empress again. And then I'll, I'm going to reshuffle these because there's like a hundred cards. For Aquarius. got the judgment call again you have felt like there was competition for something you felt like you had to compete for something whether it be love whether it be something in work and then you've just had this epiphany moment where you don't have to compete for what is yours Aquarius what is yours you don't have to compete for not at all you just have to be you that is the judgment call. You just have to remember who you are, and you do. <laughs> the Bloomin' Empress and the Star. Oh my goodness. This is really a card of good luck. We got the Moon card in reverse. You know, I feel like there's been this sort of haziness around a certain situation, feeling like testing the waters or having to compete sort of maybe somebody questioning your worth but in standing in the light of who you are and as the empress having such faith confidence and courage it's just like you're like oh 
that's fine. Like, you know, that's fine if this opportunity does not, you know, because the, as the Empress, it wasn't really that much of an offer, was it? The Seven of Wands, like, you've got everything over here as the Empress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, Empress can create anything. You've got everything. The Queen of Pentacles, bless Aquarius. Oh my gosh. You've got everything, darling. You know, this is, Queen of Pentacles is every area covered. Being able to be generous because you have, you know, built so much wisdom and knowledge, like wealth and love. It's like healing. Every pentacle represents a different area of life. You're the Queen of Pentacles whereby you've been able to learn so much and ground so much uh, wisdom, knowledge, love and material items that you now are able to be generous in your love. In It's the given, the receive, but wow. People, they feel so honored to be in your presence. They feel really blessed because they, just by being around you and your energy, they feel like they are um, healing or receiving so much. The Emperor. Aquarius, this is passion, fire, action going forward. The Emperor and the Empress. Divine Union. Wow. Spirit is bringing you together. And it's a gift because you both let that which was not for you, that which didn't serve, pass you by. Not only did you let it pass you by, you continue to focus on the light and created it's like you're inspiring to even spirit and you're being gifted the judgment is you're being gifted clarity love happiness divine union divine masculine divine feminine four of wands someone's wanting to so it, this is easier for someone to let go of than the other person um it's like somebody saw it as a long-term sort of, wow. I keep seeing fours as well, guys. Oh, there's something about this Aquarius full moon energy. I mean, it means angels are with you. But somebody saw this connection, and I'm not sure if this is the, the past connection or what's coming in here with your divine masculine, divine feminine. But somebody saw this as a really long-term love they thought you could really build on your passion and your creativity together ace of chalices this is a new beginning of love and passion joy it's like the cup overfloweth with the eighth ace of chalices <laughs> You just feel so abundant because your whole spirit is singing with joy. This is the union, you know, lit by the sun between the emperor and the empress. The angels have spoken. That is the gift coming forward for you, Aquarius. You deserve this love and this light because you are the love and the light. Oh my gosh. One more card here. One more card for Aquarius. This is absolutely beautiful. Nine of Swords. That came out earlier, right? No, it didn't. So Nine of Swords, it's like somebody feels very... I, I do feel like there's this either energy from the past or maybe this is really the Emperor and the Empress. You know, feeling very connected. Um, you know, Nine of Swords is maybe being, you know, stuck in your head about a situation. I need another card. Knave of Wands. Someone is really confident. They feel really self-assured about this situation. They're like, yep, long term, we're building this, doing this. I feel like this is the other person. And I'm not sure, Aquarius, whether you're aware. And, I, and to be honest, like I really am getting these two energies and I'm not... 
which person is this? Let's get a clarifier. Who is feeling like Aquarius? This is it, Aquarius. Who is this person? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah. It's somebody, maybe you guys have worked together before, or I get the feeling that you're in the same sort of, um, you know, field. It's like Three of Pentacles is like collaboration, right? For, for a cause, you know, you know, healing the world with love here in this card. But whatever it is, it's like, it's like mind, body and soul connection because you both sort of have a similar viewpoint or you both have, um, and, and so there's this real possibility of building together because the truth of the energy of who you are is the emperor and the empress. There's all of this potentiality here and you do both feel this connection. My rabbit, <laughs> Gracie, you good? She's getting grumpy. She's thumping her legs. Yeah. Um, okay. So ace of pentacles with the five of wands. Somebody definitely checking in Aquarius. <laughs> they see you as their love. You know, it's like this infinite love, both focusing on your own skills. And what I like about this reading is the emperor and empress. It's like you're both really independent. You're both doing your own thing, you know, but you come together in this sacred union. I just... Hmm. I just get the sense there seems to there is like because this again is signifying like competition rivalry right it feels like that we've got the emperor and empress and then we've got this other little energy here I think it's from the past that's trying to deter you from this all that's yours this divine union this light this love this judgment of all that you deserve the new beginning you know, this is beautiful. If, if it was like this, perfect, right? Just the light, the love, the cup overflowing, the divine union, both, you know, in your power, both sharing your love, you know, you're surrounded by angels, protection. For some reason, this keeps, there's this energy here on the side that it could be from the past or it could be, you know, another energy where it's like they're trying to compete for your attention, your love, something like that, Aquarius trying to hold you back, trying to say, hey, we should get back together or something like that. You know, it's going to resonate differently from each of you. I'm just seeing it as energy. I'm seeing this beautiful energy here, like this golden light, happiness, joy, like this portal of everything, you know, love, passion, beauty, strength. And then there's this energy here that seems to be like competing or, you know, it's sort of like, you know, checking in on what you're doing, you know, that I'm just not sure Aquarius, like I just, there's like two separate things here. And I really feel like, how do you feel about this energy? Eight of Wands. Look at this, eight, eight, amazing. Hmm. It feels like there's going to be this quick action. Somebody has their eye on you. Somebody is like, we're going to create together. We're going to collaborate together. You can expect Aquarius, somebody to contact you or to, you know, reach out or you're going to have a dream about someone um, with that eight of wands instead of like the energy that's like always... You know, it always continues on. I don't know why this energy is sort of perplexing me. It's interesting. There seems to be quite a few layers here in regards to this situation. And I feel like that's the message here, Aquarius, is not to be distracted by the competition, whether this is you or your person. Don't be distracted by that. The message here from the very beginning was to simply remember who you are. The Empress, double confirmation, the star. And 
that the sun is coming in granting all of these beautiful opportunities, love, happiness, and that was the judgment two times over here. This is definitely divine union with the two eights, the two fours, that's eight, eight, eight. The emperor, the empress, destined for this beautiful new beginning that is grounded in love and passion, light, Bless you, Aquarius. Let's get some messages from your person here. Messages for Aquarius. Wow. You have a beautiful soul. You inspire me to be better. I am very attracted to you. I dream about being close to you. I feel like it's really over. I don't know why the forces were against us. I miss the excitement of seeing you. And there's so much I have to say and I don't know how. You know, I feel like you have, as the Empress, taken this opportunity to really focus on your skills, your joy, your gifts. And somebody is missing your energy. You know, it's like they're, they're very attracted to you. They miss that, that excitement. You know, they know there's a strong connection. There's a lot to say, but how, where do they begin, right? They just see you as the star, very beautiful. But they are recognizing a, a, an ending here. And I think, Aquarius, it's because you're focused on the light. And should spirit bring you together, then that would be the divine union of the emperor and the empress. But what is meant for you will never pass you by. And you don't have to compete for what is already yours. You just stand in the light and the truth of who you are. One more message here. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, one more message. Look, they're trying to stop looking at social media. That was this card. I was literally going to say that before. This competitive energy. It's like they're trying to stop. But they cannot get a craze off their mind because you are their shining star. They're trying. You know, but it really it's about aligning to the to the light, where you are. Yeah. Spirits made the judgment call. Bless you, beautiful Aquarius. This is your full moon and the perfect time to let go of any negative thoughts. Any night of swords where you thought, felt stuck in your head or tied to a certain situation or outcome. This is the time to cleanse that. 2244 on the screen, a beautiful time of cleansing, healing, and this is your glorious energy that the world basks in for the next four weeks. So enjoy, enjoy lots of love and light, Aquarius, and ciao for now. And remember to check out the crystal store, guys. You can find these gorgeous protective obsidian crows and frog. Um, yeah, this is pink mangano, and we've also got this a little jade hand-carved crystal frog. And this rose quartz, um, baby Yoda. So yeah, find the crystals in the store. And I'm a darling, so we'll see you soon. Remember, you are the light. Ciao for now.